Guys, we have 12 different types of onigiri today. One dozen onigiri rice balls from our local Family Mart convenience store. I don't know how many onigiri do they have, but we chose 12. Yes, we did. I actually counted 17 different varieties at our particular convenience store, but we've tried those on previous recent videos, and so we decided to get the 12 that we haven't really tried. And this consists of the typical ones where the nori is wrapped separately. We have some where there are no nori. We have some with the nori already wrapped, and we even have a premium one. Onigiri is the most popular fast food in Japan. Mm -hmm. The history is long and it's eaten in all over Japan. Yes, and everybody loves these. So without further ado, we're gonna get started with the first one. And the first one I wanna try. We do have a umeboshi, but I'm keeping that for the end. <laughs> yeah, I know you probably I know you give me that look. Maybe you guys give me the same look, but for me personally, I like to eat ume at the end of meals. It, it like cleanses my whole mouth. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So instead, we're gonna start off with another comment and a favorite amongst a lot of you guys. We're gonna get started with this one. This is the Shi Chicken Mayonnaise Tsuna Mayo or the Tuna Mayonnaise Onigiri. So this is the type where the nori seaweed is separate from the rice to keep the nori crispy. And to open it, you just follow the number. So number one, make sure you pull it all the way off number two and then number three look at that you got yourself a nice onigiri rice ball so this is the inside of shichikin onigiri yeah you can see a lot of filling in there to me this is like the japanese version of a tuna salad sandwich okay go ahead itadakimasu Mm, I love mm, that crispy nori. I love sea chicken. Mm. Mm. It's tuna flavor. Good. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise, good. Salt level is good. Nori, good. The other difference between the tuna mayo you find in the onigiri and the uh, tuna salad sandwich in America or other countries is that I think this mixture is a little bit Japanese. I feel like there's a little bit of soy sauce or dashi or something inside the tuna mayo mixture. Uh, which gives it added flavor. So the next one is umeto mushidori to hijiki. Plum, steamed chicken, and hijiki seaweed. It's a mixed rice and it contains barley. Barley. Okay, so it's a little bit healthier than mm -hmm. your uh, typical onigiri. Mm -hmm. Has more fiber. This one is just packed with that nori seaweed. So, like this. So I can see shredded chicken in there. Mm -hmm. That's the steamed chicken. I see the hijiki seaweed. And I do see a little bit of barley inside the rice as well. Mm. 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 Is there vinegar in here? Plum. Oh, it's plum. plum. That's right, I was thinking <laughs> it's a little bit sour. It's a mm -hmm. plum, mm -hmm. ume plum. The chicken is mm. combined with plum. That's Pickled delicious. Plum. Mm. And you know, the barley gives the rice Sort of a nutty texture, mm. a really like nice, gentle nutty texture, which I like. Hmm, mm. this is really good. I like this. Hmm, mm. and the rice kernels, mm -hmm. um, nicely cooked. Mm -hmm. Rice is nicely cooked. No, it's not mushy. Not mushy, mm. and I can see the individual kernels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really nice. Mm. The next one we have is tori gomoku omusubi, and this one is one of those that where the nori is already wrapped around the rice. Torigomoku means a chicken with a variety of vegetables. That's what it looks like out of the package. You see the nori is not crispy like the other one, but it's still good. This is the way my mother always makes it. Oh, inside is chicken meat? Yeah, it looks like there's chicken inside. I do see a little bit of carrots, I think. Mm -hmm. And burdock. And burdock. Ah, gobo. Interesting. Mmm. Oh, is it? Like takikomi gohan? Yes. Mm. Good takikomi gohan. Mmm. Mm. So good. Mm. Nice, sweet, and 
だしフレーバー、スイートソイソースだしフレーバー。The rice is seasoned really, really well with、um, a little bit of soy sauce, some. By the way, guys, if you hear thunder in the background, it is because it is stormy weather today. We have thunder right now, it's stormy weather. But anyway,、um, this rice is really nicely seasoned with、um, dashi, a little bit of soy sauce, maybe some m e a t i n g some sake. But it is delicious. And I do like the pieces of chicken and vegetables on the inside. Next one is Sansai Okoa, Mountain Vegetables Okoa. Okoa is made with glutinous rice. Mmm, yummy.、Mm. You can see a lot of vegetables on the surface of this onigiri.、Mm. And that's what it looks like cut in half, guys. I don't know if you can see. Can you tell that the rice is a little bit more stickier than the regular onigiri? Hi. Mmm. 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 Oh, no. Mmm. That's good. We love glutinous rice to start with. Can you see it now? You can tell, right? You can see visually that it is softer than your regular rice. Mmm. Just soft rice、mm -hmm. is not good for onigiri. True. But this one has a texture. Yes. What shall I say? It's similar to mochi a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's、mm -hmm. right. Similar to mochi.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bouncy. Bouncy, yes, bouncy.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next one we have is Jukusei Benichake. This is salmon. It's a grilled salmon. 139 yen, by the way. They had another salmon, it was、uh, 20 yen cheaper. That's the regular grilled salmon. So, this one must be a little bit different. Okay, that's what it looks like out of the package with the nori wrapped around. So, this is the inside. This salmon is a sokai salmon.、Mm, so, it must be,、um, I don't know, a tastier piece of, or more expensive piece of salmon. I believe. <laughs> yeah, but that 20 yen difference. <laughs> Itadakimon. Itadakimon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this is grilled salmon,、mm -hmm. but it's not the solid grilled salmon, it's flake, flaked. flaked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salmon flakes, but very intense salmon flavor, nice salmon flavor.、Mm -hmm. I like it, it's cooked perfectly.、Mm -hmm. I, I wish they put more inside because the salmon is so good, but it's salted, so maybe that's just the right amount for the rice. I want more. I、yeah. like this one. I know, me too. I want more too. <laughs> so, next one is Mentaiko mayonnaise. It's a spicy kodoro and mayonnaise. So, this is just the outside surface of this onigiri rice bowl. This one is pre wrapped onigiri. The inside is cut orange. Color is orange. Yummy. Mentaiko is red.、Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise is white combined into pink. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow! That one packs a flavor.、Mm. Wow! The mentaiko is a little bit spicy. Just a little bit though. The mayonnaise m a k e it mild. That's true. That's true. Which is why I think、uh, they mixed it together. Although I wouldn't mind just a mentaiko <laughs>、uh, onigiri. I think、mm -hmm. I would like that too.、Mm -hmm. But this is great.、Mm -hmm. This is tasty. I can enjoy the mayonnaise umami flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, The flavor is so good in this one. I... Wow, you guys hear the thunder? <laughs> okay, the next one is a rather typical one. This is kombu, which is、uh, preserved seaweed or kelp, I should say. And it is one of my favorites. Once again, that's what it looks all wrapped up. So you can see the inside black part, it's kombu, marinated with soy sauce and sugar. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah.、Mm. That is good stuff.、Mm. That、mm. is very good stuff. I love kombu.、Mm. Mm. Me too. This one is、um, a little bit on the sweet side or sweeter side, I think. Mm. Mm.、Uh, depending on which shop you buy this at, sometimes it's more salty.、Um, like this one from Family Mart, it's a little bit sweeter, I think. Your mother loves shio kombu. She loves kombu, period. Her favorite, though, is okaka, which is、uh, bonito flakes. But they didn't have okaka today. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was、mm -hmm. looking for okaka, but I, have, I didn't see it, unfortunately. So the next one is yaki shirasu omusubi.、Mm. It's a grilled white bait. I see grilled white bait. Grilled white Interesting. bait. Interesting. Now, shirasu is something that is very famous in Shizuoka, where my mother is from. 
That's right. I love shirasu, white bait fish. So delicious. So, to open this one, go pull, pull down this part. Just open. You don't have to get your hands dirty. However, I'm gonna get my hands dirty so I can show you the whole thing in its entirety. So that white thing you see in the middle part, that's a whole bunch of tiny little fish. Yes. And, and the color of the rice, it's like, uh, I see two colors. Shoyuhumi. Uh, shoyuhumi. Okay, so um, it's uh, soy sauce flavored. The shirasu is on top, on the surface of this omusubi, but inside, something there. Something's Something there. is there. Something is really? there. Really? <laughs> I only see rice in there. Oh, mm -hmm. that is delicious. I, I, ginger. I taste a little bit ginger. Hmm. Hmm. Super flavorful. Much ponzu. more flavorful. Ponzu. 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 Where's ponzu the ponzu? Jule. Ponzu jule. Ah, I see. They added ponzu jule. Mm. On the, in the middle of yeah. the onigiri. Mm -hmm. So interesting. What a great idea. Mm. They made the ponzu into a gilet so that it doesn't make them uh, almost to be watery. That's a great idea. This one has so much flavor, guys. Obviously, of course, you can taste the fish. Well, the rice has a, a subtle flavor of soy sauce. It's not drenched in soy sauce, which is a good thing. And that ponzu adds like a dimension, a new dimension, <laughs> like Satoshi would say. This one is a little bit interesting to me. This is negi miso using three types of miso. Three types? Mm -hmm. In one omusubi, onigiri. Yes, wow. three types. Wow. That's kind of interesting, right? How luxurious. I know. This is what it looks like, all wrapped up. Oh, can you hear that? That thunder? We haven't had thunder in a long time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's been mm. a while. Wow, so much miso inside. Yeah, that is. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to this. So this is basically onigiri with just miso, right? Miso. Oh. Ah. Mm. Mm. Negi miso. Mm. 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 I yeah. like it. Green onion and negi. Negi flavor and miso flavor combined very nicely. It's elevated the, the flavor. One plus one equals three. <laughs> the next one is very simple. Yaki omusubi. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce flavored. But it's one of my favorite ones. So the surface is this one. This. Can you see the cha grilled mark? Oh my god, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. And this one you can actually warm up um, in the microwave. Yeah. Um, like the package says. Mm -hmm. But you can eat it just like this. Yaki onigiri is one of my favorite food in the entire world. It entire is. world. <laughs> yeah, yaki onigiri. Oh my god, I can eat that for days. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inside, can you, can you see that the surface part is the soaked soy sauce? And the inside, white part is white rice. <laughs> yeah, just white rice. Maybe a little bit salted. Maybe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's mm -hmm. pretty good. However, I do have to say mine is better. <laughs> yeah, homemade one is better because it's no longer crispy. I That's like. Right. I like that my yaki onigiri crispy on the mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. But soy flavor, soy mm -hmm. sauce flavor. Mm hmm. It's like a senbei. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> soy like sauce rice cracker soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a good soy sauce. It's mm -hmm. a little bit has a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. It's not just salty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But once again. I, I think this would be better warmed up or grilled under the toaster or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the best way. I think so, mm. yeah. Okay, now we come to a premium onigiri. They have three premium onigiris at the moment. They have saba, they also have the salmon, which we tried on previous videos, but this one is brand new. This one is takomeshi, which means octopus rice. Yes, so there are pieces of octopus in this one. And this one is around 200 yen, I believe. 220 yen, that's including the tax. It looks like this. <laughs> I see you a can little see piece of octopus. Octopus, here. I can. So you can see octopus inside. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I just had the rice. I didn't have any octopus yet. I, I, I get, I'm assuming it's um, soy sauce. 
but it's a different kind of soy sauce from the yaki onigiri soy sauce, which is like the more familiar soy sauce. Different kind. Of, that's yeah. right. Mm, yeah. This is different. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of mirin. Mm. They are using mirin. Mm. The octopus is so tender. I just had one right now. It's chewy but tender. Mine mm. is like totally tender. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh yeah, and I can taste the octopus. I can taste the taco. It's like eating takoyaki, but of course, in a rice ball form. Mm. Rice ball form takoyaki. Mm. Mm. That sounds like an idea. Mm. Rice ball form takoyaki. Mm. So it must be good. Another, another ingredients inside. Like we have the ingredients inside. Beni shoga, the pickled ginger, mm -hmm. or aonori seaweed mm -hmm. inside. Inside that? this. That oh. sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. You should make it next <laughs> time. I think that would be delicious. So the next one is the last one. He already mentioned we saved the plum one for the last. Mm -hmm. This is the plum. Ume desu. Ume. This is a kishu nanko ume. Kishu nanko ume is the most popular pickled plum in Japan. This one. It's wrap type. So inside there is a pickled plum. So you can see the chopped ume plum. Oh, mmm, <laughs> so refreshing. Super mm. refreshing. Of course, it's sour, mm. but for some reason, it also has a little slight sweetness to it. I think mm. it goes so well with the rice and the nori. Mm. This is your classic onigiri, you cannot go wrong. The flavor profile, sourness, mm. saltiness, mm. and a little bit of sweetness. It's perfect for this onigiri. It's chopped, so there is no seed inside. Mm. That's true, mm. that's true. Oh my goodness. You know, if, if I can't decide on what kind of onigiri I want to eat, I usually end up going for ume. <laughs> also, um, I go for ume when I'm not feeling that great. Or I don't have an appetite. For some reason, I can eat ume onigiri. Mm. Okay. All right. So we've come to the end, and it is time to choose our favorite amongst the twelve onigiri rice balls that we had from Family Mart. I'm so tempted to say ume, but I shouldn't. Why I you have, shouldn't? Because I'm biased towards ume. But let me let me try to think without having a bias. In my memory. Mm. There is a one thing that gives me a best impression, most strong impression. Really strong impression. Mm. Uh, let me see if I can guess. The one with the barley? No. No. Okay, I give up. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> the plum one. Umeboshi one. Really? The last one? <laughs> yes. Oh, explain. The sourness mm. and the saltiness and the texture of rice, it's perfect. This is the onigiri. <laughs> <laughs> this is the onigiri. Well, you know what? I have thought about it really, really hard, and I gotta say, I totally agree with Satoshi. The ume onigiri is really good. They do this one really well here mm -hmm. at Family Mart, and you know, the fact that there's no seed in here is another plus. Of course, uh, you know, the, the you know there were a lot of good good onigiri mm -hmm. here today that we tried, but the onigiri with the ume wins. Well, thank you so much for watching guys really hope you enjoyed this taste test we do hope you guys are enjoying the convenience store series soon uh, we will start going out again to film for you guys but we will continue to do convenience store videos for you because we know you like them so much thank you for watching see you on the next video bye 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 everybody